es limonada natural. So we start with a welcome drink. Uh, we have a natural lemonade. We use mm. purified water, fresh lemonades, and of course sugar. Puede servirse la limonada. Aquí está. Okay. We take the lemonade first, and in all the cooking class, if you want some lemonade, you can take of this one. Okay. If we lose this food, we lose our origins. If we lose our origins, we don't know where from. This is the reason that uh, my mom decided to share the recipe for all the people that wanted the recipe. Please. Last year, uh, my mom uh, and my family, we have uh, like a, a competition uh, of one state and different towns. 16 towns and my mom win the first place in who has the best pepian of Zacatepec. Ah. <laughs> you are in the best hands of this <laughs> state. <laughs> Luego le vamos a agregar sal. Mm -hmm. And when the food, yes, the chicken mm -hmm. is uh, cooking, we need to add some salt. Lo vamos a cocinar por una hora. And this chicken, we need to cook it by one hour. Cocinar si hay afuera. Now come to outside and we see all the ingredients that we need to use it for this pepian. Chile guajillo. Guajillo chili. In Spanish we call this chile pasa. Chile pasa. Chile pasa. They're all dried. You yes. dried them first? Okay. Cebolla. Onion. Tomate. Tomatoes. Tomatillo. Tomatillos. Ajo. And garlic. garlic. Yep. También le vamos a agregar, agregar unas especias. We need que to add con colín. some uh, sesame seeds, pimientas gordas, pepper, y pepitoria. Um, pumpkin seeds. También al, al, al caldo, de, o sea, al pollo le vamos a agregar verduras. The same soap that we use for boiling our kitchen, our chicken, we add some potatoes, yes. and yes. chayote, or squash. Carrots, papa, and potatoes. Okay. <laughs> Esto es para la salsa. All of these things is for the También le vamos a agregar for the salsa. cilantro. And we need to uh, add some cilantro, cilantro in the soup of, of chicken, and the other we need to chop in and we need to roast it for the salsa. Oh, También lo vamos a acompañar con una sopa de arroz. So the pepian, the salsa of the pepian, we eh, add some fresh. Aquí tenemos el arroz y le vamos a agregar verduras, que es ejote, zanahoria, tomate, chile pimiento y cebolla. In Guatemala we call soup of rice because we add a lot of vegetables. And these vegetables, we have some carrots, green beans, tomatoes, eh, red chili, hmm? or oh, sweet chili. Sweet chili. Mm -hmm. Sweet chili yep. and onions. Too. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Luego, vamos a hacer tortillas. Aquí tenemos la masa de maíz. And today you're learning how to make tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> We have the ready, uh, in Spanish we call masa. This we call masa, it's ready only for, for make the bowls and start for to make tortillas. Luego las entraditas van a ser guacamole. Guacamole. Con tostaditas. After to finish to cooking, we start with some appetizers. And this appetizers is Cold chips and of course guacamole. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> La limonada is de limón natural. For drinking, we have uh, some lemonade and in the um, oh, you can get some Coca Cola or beer. Oh. Do you drink beer? 
Un Entonces poquito. Entonces vamos a, vamos a empezar picando un whisky. Y vamos a, a pelar la zanahoria y la zanahoria y la papa. So for the pepian, these ingredients we need to roast them. On the pan. Yes, on the pan. And this, the carrots, the squash, and potatoes, we need to peel it, and we need to cook in the small pieces for cooking with the chicken, and at the end, we add with the sauce. Okay. You put the sauce in to the chicken broth. Yes. Okay. And, el También va a ser el postre, camote. And we have dessert. Uh, the dessert we have sweet potatoes with honey. Ooh. This sweet potatoes is like a, a special recipe in Guatemala because we prepare for the day of the dead. Yes. The day of the day, the first and second of November, yes. we prepare this dessert. But it's really famous because it's really sweet and the consistency of the sweet potatoes is really good. So on the day of the dead then, do you put that as an offering? Yes. yes, yes, offering and sharing with your family. Because okay. if you visit your um, your family passing away in the cemetery, you go with a big pot with this kind of, of dessert. Sometimes my mom prepares sweet potatoes, my uncle prepares uh, some uh, peaches mm -hmm. in, with honey mm -hmm. or with almíbar. And we are, uh, my order prepared papaya and pineapple with this honey, and you share. Oh, so okay. the pepian like is the most authentic recipe of Guatemala. This recipe from with a blend of the Mayan people and the Spain mm. people, because we know the uh, different ingredients that we grow in Guatemala, but we have different ingredients when the Spain come to Guatemala introduce these ingredients and these spices. And I am a Ladino. Ladino is a blend of Mayan people and Spain people. This is the reason that we have a blend. We have a, 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 a blend of the tradition of the Mayan people and of the Spain people. In this town, we celebrate a lot of uh, Catholic saints. Mm -hmm. And this recipe we prepare only for a special occasion. We prepare for birthday, for weddings, for graduation, or when the special people come to Guatemala, like you. Let's start with the cooking class. You can ask any question what is this? about this. This is a toronja. Mm, it's, the, it's like a orange. Is that the one with the other orange inside? No, that's no. This is like an orange, but inside the color is like a pink. Uh, like a grapefruit. I think so. Yeah. yeah. We can use it Google Translator. Okay. okay. But this is like a, a smaller, we call toronja in Spanish, toronja. But this is a, a smaller one. So it's a fruit. The fruit is a fruit. Cool. But it's really good because it looks so. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay. Vamos a empezar. So we start for a, a cooking, for peeling. Son vegetables. ¿Cuántos whisky les pelamos? Uno. ¿Cuántas papas? Las dos. ¿Y una zanahoria? Sí. Is it always made with chicken or can you use beef? Um, it's depending. We have other famous recipe, but the recipe you can add in pork. Yeah. Beef, okay. Chicken. Lo vamos a partir así. After you peeling, you Cuatro. need to put yes. So the pepian you can prepare with pork, a chicken, beef, or gallina. I don't know how to say that, yeah? like a root. Yeah, you slice up the carrot? Mm, it is in, in four, in four like parts. Like seeds? Yes. We have one knife here. Ah. On this recipe, uh, you can put uh, like a 
three different types of, of meat, like a chicken, pork, and beef. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, we have more flavors, but the most popular, because the economy in Guatemala, chicken is more cheaper than sure. the other. Yeah. Than the other. Okay. Yes. De ese tamaño también. Sí, está bien. Yes. Yeah, sí, 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 sí. Yeah. Really good, Susha. Sí. Yeah. Really good, Susha. Muy bien. Oh, you don't de nada. De nada. So after one hour, uh, the chicken is ready, and we need to take off because we only want the water of the soap for make the tortilla. Okay. So you're gonna take the chicken off the bone. Yes, but we have a, a specific region or a specific uh, town in Guatemala who make the most portion of this. Really? Because in Guatemala, every town have like a different job. Le vamos a agregar cilantro al al pollo donde se está cocinando el pollo. So for more flavor, we need to add more cilantro. Sorry. We need to add some cilantro to the kitchen for obtain other type of flavor. This is like a, a soap and you can to you can to smell if you want it. Mm. Oh yeah. So all of these ingredients we need to roaster. It's not necessary to separate because after to roaster we put in the same uh, mm -hmm. pot. Mm -hmm. We add some water for a is more soft for grounder. También vamos a poder adorar esto. And we need to roast some pumpkin seeds, the sesame seeds, and the pepper. Sometimes the pumpkin seed is like a popping. Yeah, they do. It comes yeah. out. The secret for this sesame seed is don't come out. It put some salt. And thanks to the salt, is not uh, like a okay. Your salt is very thick. Mm, yes, this is the most uh, a, like a salt that we use it because this is cheaper. You can buy one pound of salt by 70, 75 cents. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? okay. También vamos a agregar la cebolla y el ajo. Now uh, we add the onion and the garlic. This color, when we see that the chili is ready, is with the color crunchy. Huh. Crunchy. 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 But this leaf is not crunchy. Oh, okay. And the same color. It's black and crunchy. By the way. And this chili, because all is black, we only see if it's crunchy. <laughs> yes. In this part of Guatemala, we have the active volcano, uh, like a fire volcano, and is the same sound like a bomb. Yes. Bomb firecracker. Yes. Sometimes uh, you listen this sound like a boom, and you tell my mom, "It's a firecrackers. <laughs> it's a volcano." I don't know, but it's normal. <laughs> it's here. something. Exactly. <laughs> It's normal, yes, it's normal because we can see explosion like uh, every 30 minutes because the uh, fire volcano is really, really active. It is? Yes, it's really it's Just beautiful. one? Just one volcano. Yeah. Okay. And thanks to the active volcano, all the ashes of the volcano down of this part, we have volcano soil thanks to the water volcano yeah. and thanks to the ashes of the fire volcano, our soil soil is really really nutrient this the ash is good for the coffee right yes it's yeah. really good for the coffee how much stew 
did your mom have to make for the contest? The, the competition? Mm, how? Did she have to make a lot? Yes, we need to make like a, one big pot. Big pot, like that? Yes, one big pot for cooking. My mom had the first place with two different types of food. The first place of the stuff. The stuff is the other famous, famous and traditional food in Guatemala. This food is more longer time for prepare because for this food we need to cook it for two days. Oh. You, for example, you start today in the morning, uh -huh. you cook it all day, and you finish tomorrow in the middle of the day. What is that? What, what's it? We call beef stuff. Beef stuff. Beef stuff. But it's the same, you can make this stuff with beef, a pork, or chicken. But the most popular is beef, because the consistency of the beef is really soft after one day and a mm, half. Mm -hmm. We we cut uh, uh, like uh, tomatoes, garlic, um, uh, onions, uh, sweet chili, uh, lettuce, um, apio. I don't know how to say uh, apio in, in English. And we we add some vinegar. We move it. You put in the in the firewood, you move it, you add some salt, then you put the beef, then you wait and you need to move, 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 move. Yes. And my mom win the same uh, first place. Oh, that too? Yes, with who has the best stuff of um, of this state. First my mom win the local competition in San Miguel Escobar and Ciudad Vieja. This is the name of our town. And uh, my mom are in the five best stuff of this region. They the winner. Uh, the five winner of this competition compete with all the cooking uh, women of the state. And uh, my mom win the same, the first place wow. of the stuff and the pian. As you can see, all of the ingredients of the salty is ready roaster. We put some water for need uh, more soft ingredients. Now come to outside and we use it a grinder stone for ground over. Okay. Pero aquí nosotros sí tenemos tres piedras. In some places in Guatemala, the people don't want to still use the grinder stone because it's really hard work to ground all mm -hmm. the things. Yeah. But I told you, we start to lose our originates. Mm -hmm. This is the reason that my mom eh, tells us, eh, my sisters, my brothers, my nieces and my nephews is still use the grinder stone because we don't want to forget this really good uh, um, grinder. A la edad de ocho años empecé a usar la piedra. My mom started to use the grinder stone when she was seven, eight years old. Vamos a moler. This is the way that we use it for this grinder stone. Ya que para hoy, para las, para, para algunas de las mujeres, ya se nos, se nos hace muy difícil moler. Okay, ahora ya con, ya se cuenta con una licuadora. My mom said for um, some women uh, don't know how to use the grinder stone, but the reason is the same. The family don't want to still use the grinder stone, and do you know how to use it because you don't have grinder stone? Sometimes the families start to sell it, this grinder stone for different museums, so different people who still want it, this grinder stone, but it's not common to the women know how to use it, this grinder stone. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. And for all, for now, we have electrical grinder stone. Grinder, electrical grinder. It's more easy, but the flavor is better here. Aquí lo vamos a licuar.
Perfect. Did you hear that? I did. Perfect. Which one is James and which one is Debs? Can we tell? Especially compared to everything else. Woof. The flavor. Cuando hay primeras comuniones, cuando es una fiesta del pueblo también. So, my mom explained you, uh, so now you're learning about all the process of this food. Yes. And now, when you come back to your house, you can prepare this special food for bautism, a communion, um, graduation, mm -hmm. weddings, or when you have a party. Because yes, this absolutely. is very, very special for us. Yes, it is. Beautiful. So first, my mom show you how oh, to. She, oh, she okay. Her. Okay. Oh, and then you can take. 